Alright, we're back and uh yeah, in a final rush as you could uh, excuse me, final chase. As you could probably tell. Uh the mission isn't exactly hard. Uh well it kinda is, but for wrong for wrong reasons. The Chao isn't well hidden or anything, it doesn't require that much skill, uh, even though it does require a little. The main reason why this is difficult is that it's so glitchy. I mean, this whole stage is glitchy. And what makes it glitchy is these gravity pillars. I hate them. And I don't know why did they put them there. Well. I can kinda understand why, but I don't understand why didn't they fix them. When it was clear that they didn't function the way they probably should have functioned. I guess this game was kinda rushed and all, but still. Oh well, I guess it's fair that oh, this game gets some glitches too. It's nowhere near as bad as Shadow the Hedgehog or Sonic 06, so. I guess I shouldn't be complaining, but this stage is just terrible. The music is cool though. But yeah, even though the Sonic music is usually awesome and stuff, it doesn't exactly make up for a bad game. Look at that! If that's not glitch, then I don't know what is. That's not glitch, that was my own fault, but... Anyway... Still just weird. What happened there? Oh, I don't even know there was a path down here too. I have never used this, so... I guess it's kinda cool. Anyway... Spin dash jump over all this. Uh, don't get caught into that stupid gravity pillar. Uh, what? One of the few times I actually missed a rail when doing a spin dash on it. Oh well. It was that fatal mistake anyway. Okay, I... Well... As you can probably tell, the Chow is nearby, because I died. And because this is the end of the stage, pretty much. So get to this... Uh, grab... Stuff thingy, I don't know what that is called. A pulley, I don't know. Uh, then do the light speed dash, and get on this pillar. And look out for these electric fences. And at this point, it really is annoying when the pillars don't work the way they should. And it's because of that that I died so many times. And look at that! And yeah, that's it. Here we go. And uh, the time limit isn't too bad, I don't know what the time limit is, but uh, as you can see... I made it over 4 minutes and I still got an A. Even though this is kinda long stage. Oh and uh, I seem to have forgot, forgotten this one back when I did the stages from this area so I'll just do it now. And this isn't a difficult mission by any means. So I 
can just rough through this. Music is awesome for this stage. I think I've already uh, said that already, but who cares? It's awesome. And the stage is pretty cool too. Even though I kind of prefer Metal Harbor for this, both for music and the stage, but still. Cool stage, nonetheless. Okay, why am I running against the wall here? Love these guys no matter what points you get. There's a lot secret life down there. You can pretty much run through this. And it doesn't... Well, since only time matters in this stage, it's useless to concentrate on anything else. Except by human lives, you can also collect some rings. And the uh, Mystic Melody Altar is kinda in the same place where it is with Sonic in Metal Harbor. But the Chao is in a different location. It's right there. Yosh! Now you know why I am the best. Two minutes, not bad. This stage is kinda short though. Except by if you're collecting points, then it's gonna be quite a long stage. But it's fun. Stage and now we can get back to space with uh, Crazy Gadget. This is one interesting level. You can change the gravitational force using uh, the gravity did I screw up at that part with the editing? I think I did. Well, no matter. You didn't lose but a few seconds and you probably know what to do anyway, so it wasn't that bad. Oh now I know why that happened. I forgot to edit out my death. That was stupid of me. Okay, get the checkpoint already. Thank you. Then get on this rail. And now we can explore the middle path, which is almost like a self-destruction. But not quite, because you can survive it. But it's a bit more difficult than the others. Now here is a Mystic Melody Altar. But it doesn't actually lead to you lead you to anything. So it's kinda of pointless. I don't know what is the meaning of that, but I just show you, showed that to you because I wanted you to know that it's possible to explore this level a bit further, even though now you have to get back to the normal path. So now you just follow the path pretty much until the end. And well, in this stage it, it's not a bad thing that they put the chair right into the end because the end has the best place to put the chair in this stage because it has that gravity changing puzzle and there's a cool 
a cool shortcut. But ciao. So if you don't like the gravity puzzle, then uh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, we are at the end now, and uh, the Chao is in the end of this battle, so... We have to be a bit more careful, so I won't die. Magic hands is kinda handy in, handy in those kind of situations. Against the uh, artificial chaos. Or just for the electric uh, beetles. Against enemies that uh, shield your attacks. Those kind of enemies are handy to deal with uh, magic hands. Now you go here. And uh, you can also get a few extra lives from here. Don't fall off the edge. And the camera is a bit jerky again. Anyway, use the Mystic Melody here. No need to use it again. Because nothing is happening. And uh, do the light speed dash. And then get the job. Damn those beetle robots. Anyway, let's use the spring to get back to the beginning of this mage. That was an unfriendly spring. Anyway, now I'll show you the shortcut. All you need to do is jump here. And voila! You're at the very end of the puzzle. So, if you had trouble with this, then there's the way to go. Doesn't help you with the normal mission though. But it does help you with this mission. So, yes. get the job. What did Sonic just say? Cool. Something very strange. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. And next time we'll go for Ken's score.